Over the centuries, human actions in Asia have decreased the expanse of elephant habitats by almost 66%, causing the remaining land mass to fragment into increasingly smaller pockets. Asian elephants, despite being a beloved symbol and longtime companions of humans, are among the largest endangered animals. It is estimated that there are only 45,000 to 50,000 individuals left worldwide and their numbers are dwindling due to human activities. The construction of roads, mines, dams and deforestation has caused significant damage to their natural ecosystems, putting them at risk throughout Asia. Determining the onset of human-induced fragmentation of wildlife habitats and populations that we observe today was the goal of my colleagues and me. By examining the requirements of the species, we measured the extent of these impacts. Assessing the effects of human activity on wildlife in Asia, which is both vast and multifaceted, is no small feat, especially when considering the limited historical data available for many species. Museums, for example, only possess specimens gathered from certain locales. Numerous creatures possess highly specific ecological needs, which can make it challenging to obtain adequate data on their requirements over long periods of time, especially on a fine scale. For example, a species might have a preference for specific microclimates or vegetation types that are limited to only certain elevations. My research over the last 20 years has been focused on Asian elephants, a species that demonstrates remarkable adaptability to varied habitats, including seasonally dry forests, grasslands and dense rainforests. To determine the impact of land use changes on elephants and other wildlife, we aim to map their habitat requirements against available data sets that chart these habitats' evolution over time. The range of home territories for Asian elephants can span from a few hundred to several thousand square miles. However, due to the uncertainty of their whereabouts in the past, we had to rely on current elephant distributions to model the possible ranges. Determining the ecological factors that align with existing habitats for wild elephants allows us to identify plausible areas they may have inhabited in the past. This method can help to pinpoint what would be considered optimal habitats for these animals. Currently, numerous researchers employ this type of model to determine the climate needs of specific species and foresee how locations suitable for those species may relocate under forthcoming climate change scenarios. Our team, however, employed a similar method retrospectively substituting climate change projections with classifications of land use and land cover. Our source of data is the Land Use Harmonization, LUH2, dataset, which was provided by a research unit of the University of Maryland. The team meticulously charted land use categories from as far back as 850 AD, a period when human populations were smaller and nations were yet to fall. The comprehensive mapping includes data up until the year 2015. To compile a comprehensive overview of Asian elephant sightings, my co-authors and I began by collecting recent records. Our study specifically focused on the 13 countries that are still home to wild elephants. Bangladesh, Bhutan, Cambodia, China, India, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Thailand and Vietnam. We made sure to exclude areas where elephant populations are known to clash with humans, such as overworked farmlands and plantations. Our intention was to avoid categorizing such regions as good habitats for elephants. However, we did include areas with less human activity, like selectively logged forests, since they offer a bounty of food for these gentle giants. Our team employed a machine learning algorithm to identify the different land uses and covers at our selected sites. This enabled us to delineate the potential habitats of elephants in the year 2000. By extending our model to preceding and subsequent years, we were able to create maps that illustrated the areas with suitable living conditions for elephants and track the transformations that occurred over time. Our recent study delves into the historical landscapes of Asia, where elephants once roamed freely and were looked after by local communities prior to the colonial era. We believe that learning from this history and revitalizing these relationships could be the solution to coexisting with elephants and other large wild animals in the years to come. The Industrial Revolution, which began in the 1700s, marked a turning point in land use patterns across all continents. From the colonial era up until the mid-20th century, these changes were evident, including in Asia. 
Between 1700 and 2015, the amount of suitable habitat for elephants declined by 64%, with a loss of over 1.2 million square miles of land that was replaced with plantations, industry and urbanization. The most significant changes in elephant habitat were observed in India and China, where over 80% of landscapes were converted. This decline in suitable elephant habitat was particularly pronounced during the same period. In some Southeast Asian regions, habitat loss occurred in the mid-20th century. One notable example is central Thailand, where a substantial expanse of elephant habitat remains. During this period, logging was widespread, and the advent of the Green Revolution, which brought industrial agriculture to many parts of the world, coincided with this trend. Is it possible that the events of the past hold the answer to what lies ahead? Surveying the historical shift in land use reveals an alarming reduction in the habitats of Asian elephants, highlighting the drastic impact of human intervention. Our measurements indicate that the extent of losses far surpasses those classified as catastrophic for wilderness and forests in recent decades. Our examination indicates that in the 1700s, elephants could traverse nearly 40% of Asia's habitat without impediment, thanks to the abundance of contiguous land that boasted various ecosystems capable of supporting them. Consequently, gene flow between elephant populations was unrestricted. However, human encroachments by 2015 had resulted in a significant fragmentation of the area suitable for elephants, such that the most extensive patch of viable habitat represented less than 7% of the once vast territory. When it comes to wild elephant population in Asia, Sri Lanka and peninsular Malaysia stand out with an unusually high share, given the available habitat area. In contrast, Thailand and Myanmar have smaller populations in relation to the area. It's worth noting that these two countries are known for their significant captive or semi-captive elephant populations. Insufficient habitat exists for wild elephants in less than 50% of their current geographic range. Consequently, elephants are forced to venture into human-inhabited areas, resulting in harmful conflicts for both people and elephants alike. Although protected areas can be a helpful step towards conservation, their size is often not sufficient to sustain elephant populations. To add to this, it's worth remembering that societies have been reshaping these landscapes for centuries. As the need to balance human subsistence with wildlife preservation grows more urgent, restoring traditional land management practices and encouraging local stewardship of these areas can play a critical role in safeguarding ecosystems that benefit both wildlife and humans for generations to come. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information.